Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Witch Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game. I'm sick as a dog. Yes, I am. All right, so let me get this dummy for my wife wakes up and kills me because I'm supposed to be in bed right now. It's a bit of a cloak and dagger going on right now. So anyway, um, I get some emails from time to time. People ask me, what is the difference if I, I can just go out and spend $23 for some bare black paint and just paint over a wall with my black paint, just everyday black paint, and I can get the same results. Well, we're going to answer your, or I'm going to answer your question today. So that's how delirious and sick I am. I think there's another person here with me. I am going to uh, show you what happens, the difference why our technology does what it does. Now, I've seen people with black screens on YouTube and other places, but like I said, they don't do our demonstrations in the amount of lighting we use in the environment. Screens are shrouded in darkness, and they're using high power projectors, some form of 4K um, upscaling. Projectors have to be calibrated, all this other nonsense. We're using a projector that is 720p right out of the box, SVGA 600 by 800 res. No calibrations, no factory default changes, everything just right out of the box. Now, went on and got some bare black screen, some black paint, screen with some black paint, coated a piece of plexiglass. And now we're going to come over here and show you the difference between the plexiglass. For those of you who say, well, you know, I can just go out and just get some black paint and I can do the exact same thing you're doing. All right. So science behind it, people. Science behind it. It really is. All right, so I'm not going to point the camera up yet. Bring it down a little bit. We're ready for this, are we not? All right, you ready? So this is what happens when you take everyday household black paint and you lean it against a nano black screen, one of our screens. White levels look dirty. Very, very dirty. And since the white levels look dirty, everything else looks dirty. Skin tone, everything. Now we'll pause it here. Let's make it a little bit more difficult because we don't want to make it easy. Let's go to the back of my screen. Let's hit a few of my switches back here. It's me knocking off the piece of uh, plexiglass that I had onto the uh, screen came off. Lift this up real quick. Put this right back up against here. All right, like so. There we go. Pull it back. And start the demonstration. I don't think it worked. Alrighty then, a little bit of. Now, pause it right there. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. Not by much. See how dirty the skin tones are? levels are supposed to be cleaner, not dirty. Pause here. Sorry about that. Cold. Only much I can say I got a cold. It's checking me up. It's checking me up, man. It's checking me up. That piece is going to fall off. It's going to be a bit of a challenge for me today because I'm sick. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me today. All right.
I don't know about you, but I think I heard my wife. She's moving around. Gotta get out of here. The jig is up. Let me stop playing around. So about the camera being off balance here for a minute. There you go. See a black screen is supposed to give off two forms of balances. Perfect whites and perfect blacks. The problem is when you paint over a black surface you're going to have dirty, dirty white levels, and this is what you're going to be subjected to. And of course, when it comes to dark contrast areas, the black paint is going to perform a little bit better because it's black. But when it comes to white levels, you don't want your screen coming out looking too dirty. That's what's going to happen because you can't produce both black and white levels at the same. Or you can produce black levels, but you can't produce white levels. And this is what you get back. That's why I love doing these demonstrations because it just gives you an understanding on what you're getting into if you go down this road of trying to take a screen and paint it all black. Shows you the difference. See how dirty the image looks? get a text doing business sick and still doing business and eventually my wife is gonna see the video and kick my butt but hey it was all worth it okay before my time runs out here I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H technology screens using smart technology gain like I said, in other areas, painting your screen all black with everyday black paint, you're going to have some small, small high points where even if you get into a dark scenery, it's going to produce a somewhat good picture. But when it comes to pure white levels, when it comes to color balance, you're going to get a very crappy image. This is what you're going to be faced with. See how dirty that image looks? That's a very dirty image. Do one more, and then I'm out of here. I gotta go sneak back in bed. Let's see what happens to your blues and your whites. Now, that's ugly. That's dirty.
Yeah, I just hit the back of the Western Macomb. Sorry, I knocked out my Chromecast again. All right, I think that's where I'm going to end it right there. So I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Wit Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. <coughs> Slowly dying over here or turning into a zombie, one or the other. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I had to finish a few more projects, but that's to show you the difference between um, our technology and a black screen, an everyday black screen. Uh, paint it uh, with uh, with um, with <laughs> with just everyday uh, household paint, and that's pretty much what you will get. Hold on for a minute, just for one minute. Let me see something for a minute. Oh, okay, my phone is being very angry with me. Look, it's just froze. It just doesn't want to play right. All right, I guess that's my cue right there. All right, so that just shows you right there. And like I said, in other areas, you're going to have some good contrast levels. If you paint your screen with everyday black house paint, small, small difference. But this is what you're going to get because you want a screen with pure white levels, and this is what you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to deal with an ugly, ugly screen. And that right there is one ugly screen. Now, for a minute, we're doing this video one more time. See the difference in the white levels on the black screen? And I'm using this on a low entry level projector, nothing expensive. 720p, and this is what we get off of Black Nano. Sorry, Nano Black. Get that kind of mixed up there for a minute. This is what happens when you do things and you cut when you do shortcuts, this is what you get back. This is what you get back from a shortcut. having a ball with this you have no idea I love doing these videos someone next time somebody says what is the difference between your black screen and an everyday screen painted with everyday black paint there you go this is what you get <laughs>